Any game I see that gives me a Zelda vibe, I usually give a look to, and I just got done playing one that did just that, Legend of the Skyfish. But should you reel this one in onto your console, or is it worse than getting a hook through the mouth? Legend of the Skyfish is a top-down action puzzle game, very similar to classic Zelda in the way that it executes its movements, attacks, and a bit of its puzzle solving. The game is broken up though into several worlds with multiple levels each, and basically each little island or level that you complete is a bite-sized Zelda-esque experience. It's not a big open world map that you get to explore or go to villages or complete epic quests. It's a pretty linear journey, just island to island, with your goal being to get to the end of the island and destroy the statue. The only levels that are different are the ones at the end, which include the boss encounters, which are semi-enjoyable. Control-wise, things are relatively simple. You're moving, attacking, using one of the face buttons or even one of the trigger buttons to attack. It's all the same sword swinging ability. There's no extra items or sub-weapons for you to deal with, though there is equipment to have. You can find a few pieces of equipment scattered throughout the game, and you can equip which ones you want before each one of the levels. They affect things like the range of your attack, your movement, and defense and the like, and mixing and matching which ones are going to be your best setup is a little bit of enjoyment, but it doesn't really add a whole ton of depth by any means. The funnest aspect about the game, though, is the grappling hook-like fishing rod that you get to use. You can pull enemies towards you, so you can stun them for a little bit and then take them out with efficient attacks. You can pull objects, sometimes pulling them onto switches that are needed in order to continue on, as well as just grab on the things that you'll be able to then pull yourself towards on the certain platforms, and there's a lot of this type of puzzle solving, jumping from island to island and finding where you need to hook onto next. There's moving platforms and the like to make things even more challenging as the game goes farther on. Unfortunately, even with the 45 levels, the game isn't exceptionally long. It probably will only take you a couple of hours in order to see it through to the end. There are the few extra treasure chests to keep an eye out for, but the game even gives you hints on screens where they're located, so as long as you keep an eye out for them, it's really not that hard to gather the treasures in the game, and there really isn't any other collectibles or other real reasons to keep you playing after you complete the initial quest. From the technical side of things, though, I'm happy to report there was no crashing or other major glitching. Legend of the Skyfish is available now on the PlayStation 4 for $7.99. It does feature a platinum trophy. The game is also available on the PlayStation Vita, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PC. Overall, if you are an absolute Zelda fanatic, at least for the classic Zelda formula, you'll enjoy a little bit of this game. I wish there were more in-depth puzzles or more things to keep an eye out for, extra items or things to help you make the puzzles a bit more creative in their execution. The game is perfectly acceptable and it won't end up breaking your bank by any means, but it's not necessarily something that you're going to get really overly excited about. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Legend of the Skyfish a 6 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review, though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.